Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV. Another quick game of interplanetary I spy for all you space detectives and armchair astronauts out there. Uh, now, today I've got a couple of new gigapans for you to check out. Um, they're both of the same spot, and I've got one that's enhanced here and a raw one here. This is Sol 127 from the Perseverance rover, the very latest set, which I, I only just uploaded like today and yesterday. Um, Basically, what we have here is what looks to be like another animal of some sort on the surface. Now, I don't think it's alive. I think it's more than likely um, another carved animal like I've showed before. There are quite a few of these in the area. I've shown a whole bunch of them so far into Zero Equator, starting almost as soon as the rover landed, I started finding them. Um, there's ruined buildings and remains all over the place and in between some of these piles of rocks we see what look like animals made of rock uh, which are carved and were probably either on top of or in front of buildings that are now buried and they're sticking up out of the sand because the buildings are just below in the sand okay as I have shown in a whole bunch of videos recently showing the Ingenuity helicopter drone footage and also, I've shown them from space, from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, okay? So here's another one. Now, this is the raw version. Nothing done to this at all. This is completely raw as it comes from NASA. And if you use the magnifier, there it is. It's not very clear. It's a long way off, okay? Uh, you can see two eyes there and a nose and a head coming round. And it's in a sort of sitting, kind of lying position almost. And it looks a little bit like a hyena, it looks a bit like a dog, it looks a bit like a, a mongoose, it could be any of those type of creatures. Don't really know, could even be a cat. Doesn't really look like a cat, there's no big ears sticking out. Um, let me show you it, the enhanced uh, clip of it here. It's not a clip, it's the Gigapan. This is darker and has got more shadow added and has been colour corrected. In other words, it's had the contrast turned up and it's had the colour corrected to bring the blues back into the image and remove the yellowy orange filter they put on everything, okay? So it's gone a bit bluer, but it's probably a lot more like the colour it actually looks to the human eye if you were there, okay? And there you can see it. There's the head. There's the eyes. They're a bit more prominent than this one because it's got more shadow. Quite a flat sort of chin. And there's the back end of it here, and the back and the neck coming up over. It even has sort of texture on the back here, as if it's got hair on it. Now, I'm not saying this is. This is more than likely a, a carving, like I've shown before. I'm just going to outline it for you. Now, this has obviously been enhanced a little bit more. I've pushed the brightness up a bit more on this and the contrast to bring out the details more. I'll zoom in a bit. It's not very clear. This is a long way off. I would say this is probably, if we look at the Gigapan uh, here, I'll zoom out. Now, this is a long way away, okay? 100 feet, possibly. 100 feet, possibly a lot, a lot more. I don't know how far the camera zoomed in. Basically, we're looking west-southwest. Now, here's that bunker-shaped structure, the edge of it here. I've shown loads of times before, here, in the background. That's almost due west. Due west is just to the right of that, okay? So, we're looking here, just to the left of that on the ground. We've got this mound with all these rocks on it, uh, some of which look like architectural fragments. And then we have this thing here in between them, okay? Just here. I've marked it for you. Um, there's uh, lots of other weird things in this uh, image, but most of it's too far away. And uh, I've, I've shown a lot of these things before anyway, a lot of these structures in the background I've shown, like this mound up here I've shown a couple of times now. This thing here, which is really interesting. It's got this kind of square structure on the side of it, just here. It's got this square part here. So that's artificial, okay? And there's structures around it as well. But it's a long way off, that's about, about two miles away, two or three miles away. And here is the little creature. Now, is it possible this is alive? Probably not. It may be 12 inches long, I don't know. Um, it's hard to say, I, I can't tell you how long it is. It's probably over a foot long, considering how far away it is from here to here. Um, but you can see, basically, there isn't a lot of detail here. But you can see the eyes quite clearly here, and the snout here, and 
the eyebrows are quite bright here, these two lighter parts, right? And we've got details on the back which look a bit like kind of furry or texture of some sort up here. So we've got texture, we've got a shadow underneath here, that's the shadow. And it's just kind of sat there in the dirt and sand. Okay, Not a lot of detail to be seen, unfortunately. Within one or two hundred feet of that one I just showed you, there's this one. And this looks like a kind of dog, it looks a bit like a sort of hyena, a bit like a dog. Uh, hard to say exactly what it is, but it looks like some kind of animal. You can see the snout quite clearly, the nostrils and the eyes here. The head looks like it's been damaged. This is, looks like a carving that's eroded and broken. The head, the ears are probably broken off here, as I've said before. A lot of these are broken and eroded, these statues. And only the main parts of the head and body stay together. Anything sticking out with fine detail would probably break off, uh, like you get with statues on Earth. They get damaged and broken. So there was that one. And there's also this one, which is a more recent one I published. Uh, this looks kind of like a dog, kind of like a cat, but also, as a lot of people have said, and I tend to agree with, it looks kind of reptilian, like some kind of reptile. It's got two bulbous eyes and a very straight mouth, which you wouldn't get on a dog or uh, a cat. This line here, it looks like a reptile of some sort, but who knows? That It may represent a type of creature we've never seen before and don't have on Earth, okay? But it's a similar size. These are all the same sort of size about a foot in length, um, roughly. And uh, they're all over the place. And uh, this is what the first really interesting one I found. Now this goes right back to Sol 4, so literally a few days after the, the rover landed on Mars in Jezero Crater, I found this thing, which kind of looks like a toy, representing some kind of animal or, or character. Very, very strange. And I detail here nose and mouth and the cheek sticking out, weird sort of head and sort of ridge detail on the back here, like um, spine detail coming down the back, and these nodules, and a very strange shape. It's, it reminded me of a sort of um, half-melted rubber duck or something, where it's kind of like melted around here. Who knows? But the shaping of it is obviously not natural. You can see an eye, you can see a nose, you can see a mouth. And this eye is really big with, with people detail on it. Very, very strange, these things. Um, I don't know what it represents. It's some kind of animal or figure. Uh, it could even be a toy, like I said. But the texturing says to me that it's probably carved out of rock. Okay, like a lot of these things are. These are all over the place. Some of them look very strange. There's weird animals. There's people as well that I've shown. Statues of people. Um, quite a few so far. Uh, but the animals seem to be more prevalent in this area. And there's, I would say there's one of these about every hundred or so feet. One or two hundred feet there's one. So you, if you look at the mounds in the area, you can sort of work out how many there might be, okay? Because we've got this kind of mound here. You get a mound with a group of rocks. Now that's probably a structure that's buried. And then there's another mound over here. So there's probably one here as well, but we can't see it. There might be one just down below here somewhere. And there's probably another one over here. There's a mound here with some weird looking architectural fragments here and a wall going along here. A lot of these mounds, like I've said before, represent ruins, okay? And in amongst the ruins, there are animal carvings and almost every mound that I've looked at so far, not, all, not every mound, but every other mound I've looked at so far, seems to have an animal carving or carving of a person, or even some remains of a, an animal or a person. Okay, so they've got all sorts of things in between these rock fragments or architectural fragments and ruins, okay? So the mounds are what to look at. So generally, if you're gonna find anything, look at the mounds and look at between the rocks on each mound, and you may well find something like I've just found today. Um, if you look at the angle that this is looking at, this one here, it's looking this way to the right. And so is this one, the new one, looking to the right there. 
but the body is this way. So whether that's significant or not, I don't know. I don't think they're, face, they're all facing the same way, but most of them seem to be looking in the same direction as if they're looking at the sunrise or sunset or a moon or something. So that, that may be significant. So we need to keep an eye on that. And, and any more that are found, we need to work out which way they're looking. But a lot of them do seem to be looking in the same direction. And a lot of the burials and structures that I've found in Gale Crater all seem to be sh sort of pointing the same way as well. And many of them seem to be facing north, looking north, okay? Um, so that may represent something to do with the with the moon, one of the moons or something, or a star or something, who knows? Uh, one other thing, there is a channel to look out for. Um, I noticed this new channel pop up the other day. It's, it's a recent channel, and the channel is called Mars Rovers. And not only is this channel uploading other people's videos, and looks like a bot channel, but it's also uploading these Mars videos here with fake images. Now, I'm, just, I'm not gonna show you any of these videos, because I might get into trouble for that, but, um, what this channel is doing is getting Mars images and then superimposing animals onto them. Not even real photographs of animals. This one is actually an illustration of an animal that's been superimposed onto the Mars image here. That's an illustration. It's like a stock image, absolutely, and it's done really badly. And I've informed uh, a few people online about it. Basically, I posted this on Facebook uh, yesterday. This is of the clip from one of the videos where it shows like a UFO anomaly supposedly on Mars, but this isn't, this has been superimposed. This is a standard stock kind of picture image of a flying saucer that's just been superimposed onto this Mars image here, which is a gigapan, I think. And uh, it's completely fake and you can see that it's fake and it's done really badly. But this is what I think is rather strange it's done in such a way that it's blatantly, obviously fake. It's not even trying hard to make it look real, okay? So whatever this person is, if it's even a person running this channel, which I don't think it is, is very strange. And uh, I had a word with uh, Neville Thompson about it as well. And um, he's he's taken the clip here. This is ridiculous. The The, the poor quality of this superimposed picture of an animal here, right? If I show you the, the magnifier, it's absolutely ridiculous, right? It's just got a, a, a picture of a gerbil or a mouse or something and just superimposed it. And the sh look at the shadow, the absolutely ridiculous effort. This is, this is like really, really bad Photoshopping here. It's not even attempting to do a good job. This is utter garbage. So beware of this channel. I'm not gonna show you anything more about it. I'm not gonna go on about this channel. I don't wanna promote the channel. That's the last thing I wanna do because this is actually discrediting a lot of the work that us real researchers are doing. And um, it's making a mockery of it. So that was it really. So thanks for watching everybody. I'll put some clips of these coming up in a second. Um, and we can compare these. I've got a whole bunch of these that I found since the new rover landed in Jezero Crater. And they all do seem to be looking in the same direction, even though their bodies are orientated differently. So that's interesting. And that may be something of importance. Okay, so thanks for watching. Clips coming up now. <laughs>